Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to MF3 Showcase. I'm happy that you guys uh, are watching this video. You've seen probably other videos. Uh, you know, I, you know, sometimes I just get in moods where I just want to draw. Like, uh, you know, if you look over there, there's Yoshi. He's my partner in crime. And if you look behind me, that's my newest piece from the Boneyard. It's pretty awesome. I don't know if it's going to go in the gallery yet or I might just sell it. Um, but um, today we're doing another kind of of my tune kind of style of anime because I, I like it. Uh, I think it's fun to draw. So um, today we're going to be drawing Haikyuu from the, uh, from the anime Haikyuu. Um, and we're going to be doing uh, Hinata. So I kind of started a little bit of it sketching to kind of speed up the process. So we're going to go right into it. All right, guys, here we go. And then we will get going. What? Oh, dude, R2, what's up? No. They're always bugging me. Always bugging me. Him and Stitch are relentless. Stitch, dude, I'm telling you, we'll do some we'll do some stuff. I promise you. Man, you're just making me frustrated. Truly frustrated. But this is mostly the time the guy that I show when I make mistakes. So I'm not making mistakes today. We are going to go into it and have a good time. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Now, when I originally started watching this anime, uh, my kids got me into it. And I thought, oh, man, this is, like, way cool. Um, I can't believe I got into it, you know. Because, I mean, it's tough people that don't watch anime, you know. They look at it and they go, oh, my goodness, you know, really? Uh, anime about volleyball? But, um, but... You know, it works. It's it's pretty good. You know? And uh, it's cool because it's about... It's really about this kid and his um, friendship with this other guy. And, uh, and he wants to be like top notch in his game he wants to be a center and most of the time centers are a lot um, taller but he is not that tall but in the end he has so much heart that you know that's how he ends up becoming a, a center and he just has all the heart in the world and that's what changes it for him All right. So I hope and everyone's doing good. Today is a Thursday. And I hope you guys liked my uh, drawing yesterday. That was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that one. Now I'm going to be actually, believe it or not, um, not believe it or not, because I'm not like Ripley's Believe It or Not or something. Um, I am going to be, hopefully, um, if not this one, I definitely, hopefully will be part of another one. I'm trying to get into Artist Alley at one of the uh, conventions. Um, one of the anime conventions. Either the one here in Ontario, California, or uh, I'm trying to get into that. To, I'm trying to get into the Anaheim one, um, and I'm going to be kind of, hopefully if everything works out, I'm going to be bringing my tablet, um, but plus I'm going to be um, drawing these characters live. I mean, I don't know about that, this character per se, but um, I'm going to be doing live drawing there which would be cool and i've never done that before i mean i've done live drawing you know for family and stuff family goes hey frank draw spider-man you know you know i was the artist you know circus monkey you know i would be like okay no problem because i always loved drawing um so i didn't mind but I would love to actually 
be doing it, you know, for, for you guys. So that's what I'm planning to do. We'll see how everything works out. Now I know it's so funny when I see like little plush toys of this guy and little things from all the different characters. And if you haven't seen this, man, I can't tell you enough um, to go to go watch it because at first you're going, really? But it is so good. And it's funny because one of the episodes, I mean, the whole episode is one game. And you think, when I get bored just watching just like the one game, um, but you won't, I promise. It's pretty neat. And they get into their mindset and, you know, what they think of and, and uh, all that. So it's actually pretty exciting. Now, I know in anime, they have all sorts of different animes doing different things. Fishing animes and basketball anime and, I mean, you name it, they got it. I could always tell what my kids, when my kids were into something, I could always tell it had, it had no, it had nothing to do with, you know, dad, hey, I want to go fishing or I want to do this. No, it had to do, they were watching an anime that had that premise, which is funny. But I look at it now and I'm, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Now, I don't know all the names for for all the uh, different characters in this anime. I'll be honest. And sometimes I, you know, I love the anime and I'll watch it. But man, I'm so horrible with names and stuff. It's always hard for me. I mean, I can't be the only one that has problems with it, right? But you never know. I might be. So today is kind of cloudy day today. At least where I'm at. I'm gonna take a little liberty on the on the shoes, just because I want to. And it's like I said, this is not a tutorial. And like I tell you guys all the time, hey, if you want to take liberty with something, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to, you know, do a project or or for school or something. That would be different. Then, of course, you know, the teacher would want you to um, do what you're supposed to do as in um, perspective and different things like that. But if you're not doing it and you're just doing it for you, that statement stands on its own. You're doing it for who? You're doing it for you, not for anyone else. So you can do what you want. If you want to make the shoes a little bit bigger, make the shoes a little bit bigger. You want to do something different? Do something different. You know? Anyway, so this character is really cool. I like him. Um, if you're if you're a, a fan, then you know he's a he's a cool guy. I mean, he gets a little. Why well, I, I think his friend gets a little more crazier than he does, but um, you know he he does this like spike thing, and uh, and he does it with his eyes closed. And uh, it's really cool. It's cool how they tell the whole story about it and stuff like that. It's pretty fun. Come 
Wow, I almost did a perfect circle there. But I'll fix that up. All right, looking pretty good. Hope you guys like it. Like I said, I just kind of started a little early to try to get it done. Um, so we're not uh, waiting too long for you, right? I have a t-shirt with with um, Hinata's number on it. It's pretty cool. Now, like I said, a lot of people, when they draw anime and draw different things, what's cool about the anime community is they're very um, accepting of of um, kind of your own style, as long as you don't mess it up too bad, right? And hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. Now, now normally there is um, writing over here, right? But I don't think that I can uh, duplicate it without taking a lot of time. So we're going to kind of leave it off. All right. All right. So let's uh, start with another one. And we are going to do this fool's hair. Now his hair is like, it's like orange. And it's like an orange. Almost like a red, I would think, his hair. Let's see how this looks. I'll take it. I will take it. That's funny. The other day when I had uh, Yoshi out here with us, he was uh, kind of wanting to get out. He wasn't ready, I guess, to go to sleep. And lots of times he's sleeping on us, right? Is he sleeping? Oh, no, look at him. He's up. He's just looking around going, wow, look at that piece. I love your piece, Frank. I love it. I'm glad that... Uh... And if you guys want to see some of my Boneyard stuff, definitely visit me on Instagram. It's Frank W. Perrine. Um, you can't miss it because it has the girl with the pearl earring, but she's in my Boneyard style which is really cool. Now, right now I'm in a gallery in Laguna called the Grace Gallery. Um, and it's right there on the beach. It is pretty amazing. And you can see my stuff. I highly recommend you look at my YouTube video because I'm explaining stuff. And it's really cool because you can actually get a better understanding of the boneyard. So when you see it, you're like, oh, I totally get it now. But uh, definitely go and see it. You guys would like it. I would like it that you went to see it. Oh, a little too dark. Um, but it's cool. You could actually go down there and see it, have a good time at the beach, enjoy the weather. It's always nice down there. Um, I will let you guys know when I'm going to be down there because I think I, I'm going to be down there in a few weeks. And you can come down and see uh, my stuff. And you can check it out. Check it out. Now, 
I'm doing a lot of these drawings nowadays. Um, I'm doing it, you know, thinking of, you know, being able to kids to be able to see it because I, I'm trying to keep it, uh, you know, G rated so kids can see it. Um, I have a podcast and that's a little bit different. Um, I don't like, we don't cuss or anything like that, but the content might be um, a little bit different. Now you notice some of the pieces that I do are for my podcast. So you'll, you'll see the different shows that we're doing and I'll talk about it and, and stuff like that. So you'll get to see um, those. And you can listen to it if you like. But I definitely, uh, this stuff, I, I just enjoy doing it, you know. And like I said, I, it's not a tutorial, but I definitely sometimes will give life advice. Not that my life is better than anyone else's, but, you know, um, in the end, you know, you have a lot of people that will give you a lot of different advice. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's off of their experiences, which could be really good. But then you also you have people that will give you advice and it's like, you do, just do you. Just you go out and do you. That's the whole thing. You just go out and do you. Like I said, it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing, if you're doing stuff for school, well, there's reasons why they want you to stick within those parameters, right? Um, because they're trying to teach you something. They might be trying to teach you perspective or trying to teach you foreshortening or try to teach you, you know, shadowing and shading. So, of course, the teacher is going to want you to do what you're supposed to do, which I totally get. I think uh, in that case, yes, you should listen to teach and uh, do what you're supposed to do. But in other aspects, when you're when it's just you, man, just do you. You know, I told someone one time, I said, you know, you know, if an artist wants to be a true artist, not a true artist, I hate to say that, but if they don't want to show anybody, don't show anybody. If it's just between you and something that you do that you, you just, um, it's just for you, then no one needs to see it. It's, it's you. It's whatever you want to do. And you don't have to, you know, uh, justify your work really in the end it's what you want now a lot of people will not get mad at me but say you know what are you talking about but for me i just look at it and i think you know i think a lot of artists stop drawing because they feel like they're not good enough and you know if you look at some of the stuff out there you know, abstract and different things like that coming from different perspectives. You know, I mean, you could say that about anybody. If that's not what you like, you know, you might not like abstract stuff, right? So then all of a sudden it's like, so this guy is like better than me, you know, or whatever. Now there's different, like I said, there's different training that you get and formal training about concept and, 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 how you organize your piece and all that stuff. And there is something definitely to be said about that. Um, but, you know, you just want to, I guess, enjoy yourself. Just have fun. That's it. Just have fun. Because if not, you just get totally stressed out. And then it's like, it's just stressful at that point. Then it's like, you know, what am I doing? I'm just stressing out here. Now, what I would recommend, something that I do, which I don't do when I'm drawing on the computer, but if I'm drawing by hand, I highly recommend if you draw a piece, right? What I would highly recommend is um, when you're done drawing it, turn it upside down. Like, let's say it's on paper. Just turn it upside down. And it's the coolest thing because your mind looks at it 
in a to from a totally different perspective. And sometimes you can actually look at it and uh, see perspective issues and all sorts of stuff that you might not have seen before. So I would highly recommend that. Like if I'm drawing, if I'm drawing on paper, I will do that. I will take a look at it and go, okay, I should have done this a little bit better. Maybe my hand's too small. I mean, with 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 stuff like this, it's not an issue because I don't. It's a cartoon, and uh, you can kind of do you on a cartoon, right? Like I was telling you before, it's totally up to you. So, like I said, I would definitely, if I were you guys, go watch Haikyuu. Um, it is utterly amazing. It's amazing. I love it so much. There I am with the old man voice, right? No, but I, I definitely would because it is, it is definitely a good show. And uh, it's one of the ones that I definitely have watched. Um. Yeah, it's one that I definitely watched, and so for me, um, I love it. And uh, and I don't know when it came out. I'm sure that people that watch it can say when it came out. And so, oh, it came out here, and there's people that know so much more than I do. Um, and uh, And they can give you all the breakdown on... On all that or you can go online I'm sure and find out you can do um, different things like that and uh, that would probably give you the information that you need but like I said if it's still on Netflix you can watch it on Netflix just a really cool show and so this what I'm doing this is a style I've been doing for Boy, I would say 20, 30 years I've been doing this. I have pictures of X-Men drawn in these characters, all sorts of different things. So I always like drawing. That's why I think that I'm a little faster at it because I'm just so used to um, drawing in this style. And uh, for people out there, you know, if you find a style that you like, man, go with it. Just go with it. You should love what you're doing. You should look at your characters and go, yes. And like I said, you'll have influences from different people. And you'll have all these different ideas. And uh, it'll all come together more practice that you do the more that it'll come together and then eventually you're going to be like wow look at that right like you know that's the coolest thing and that's uh eventually that will happen Now with these guys, you know, anime itself is just such a big business now and it's so big, you know, and there's so many different stories. So I think I'm going to be doing more of these because I, I enjoy it. I mean, if you guys uh, enjoy it, I know right now I don't, I'm, I'm working on a communication aspect for here, but if not, you can go to my Instagram and DM me. It's Frank. Perrine, um, you can't miss me. It's also MF3, like MF3 Studios. I have another page called MF3. Um, and But my page is uh, Frank Perrine. Uh, and go check out my art. Um, I have some of these things on there, some of them not. It's kind of more boneyard stuff, but you can DM me or, or email me. Um, you have, it's uh, MF3 Studios um, at gmail.com. And um, 
and you could DM, uh, DM me there. I mean, uh, email me, you know, and like if you were interested in buying a piece or you're interested, interested in a, uh, in a commission, a commish, um, I'm definitely okay with that. Um, it depends on what it is. I don't shy away from commission, commi commish, commission work. Um, I like it. I'm just like, I'm so busy a lot of the times. Um, that's my, my biggest thing is my time. Um, I'm always busy because I'm selling at farmer's markets and I'm trying to push my brand, trying to get that going. And uh, there's always something going on, you know, um, always. So for me, um, but it doesn't mean that I won't or I can't, you know, so just to let you know. Okay. Now let's fix this. Fix this over here. How are we going to do it, Bob? I don't know. But we might erase it. Now, I can erase this as easy as this. But the bigger question is, the bigger question is, how do I get a circle? Now, there's actually things that will give you um, a perfect circle, right? Like this one, I could just do this and actually change the color. And I could change it to something that um, I could change around the colors, right? Let's see, I'll pick this orange here. See, so I could do this wait, and get a perfect circle. See, and I, I could do it that way, right? If I wanted to. Now, I'm going to do it that way because I'm just interested in just getting it done a little faster, okay? So, and then we're going to take white. And let's see if we can get this design right. You know what? I need a little bit bigger. Let's get a little bit bigger. Now, there's also a... I know there is a circle tool and I just like got like graphic designers all upset right now. Um, they're probably fuming like, Oh my goodness, what are you doing? But, but like I said, this is all fun and it's mine. So in the end I could do it how I want it. Right. Okay. Let's see if we can get this design, right? I'm going to, Oh, I need to actually come in and, Get a lot smaller that's good and then let's see if we can get this design right all right That'll work. And then let's do this one on this side. Now, hopefully I can get this right.
and then I'm going to outline it. Now this isn't going to be exact by any means, um, but it's all right. Like I said, it is my design and no one else's. So I can kind of do what I want, right? Now, that those who know it are probably going, oh my gosh, you are killing it, as in, like, doing it all wrong. And there's probably a good chance that I am. Actually, a really good chance that I am. But, like I said, in the end, it's kind of my design, right? So I can do it how I want to do it. I'm personally not liking it though right now, but let's just keep on going. Let's see if we can salvage it. Right? Because it's the, the ball that they have is kind of like this unique ball and it's got like waves in it, which is kind of cool. And I know that I'm not doing the best at it. But I think I'm going to still run with it. I think, well, now let's just outline it. Let's see what, let's see what we can do with this. Let's get in a little closer. Yeah, I just totally, like, demolished that ball. It is not even the same. But that's okay. Because it is my drawing in not yours like they say now with this with this tablet it's cool because with the amount of pressure that i put that's how thick i can get the line so i mean i start off with the colors and stuff that i want but i can um Go bigger or smaller, whichever that I want to do. Now, sometimes I don't even mind if it, if it's not an exact circle. I think when you can see, I think when you see, when you can see the artist, their lines and how they make it work, I think for me, that's, that's more important to me. It truly is to me. Now, some people like the 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 exact man the you know it down to you know the exact lines, and I get that too. It's just a different preference. That's all. I mean, I think it all depends on the artist and what you want to portray in your painting. Or your drawing, whatever you, whatever it might be. Now, of course, you know when I get to the detailing aspect of it, uh, it'll be better. Yeah, that's not... Hmm. I'm not really digging it, but yeah, but I'm okay. We'll see how it goes. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it, really. Yes, I kind of feel that way right now. I kind of feel like, uh, 
you know, I don't know how to draw a volleyball like Wilson. Now, if you guys don't know who that is, Wilson is Wilson is um, the volleyball from from Castaway. So I am. We're gonna get rid of this, and I I don't want to hear the plots. Stop applauding. Um, I know you're probably going. Oh man, yeah, that's we need to get rid of that. So let's get rid of that. I'll tell you what, let's do the other one and I'll show you what I mean. So if I wanted to, let's say this. Now, this is another way to do it, but it's not going to be the right way. And all you, all you guys, all you uh, graphic dudes are going to be like, you're killing me, Larry. You're utterly killing me. And I probably am killing you. I don't mean to kill you, but. And I know there's a way that I can just make a circle. I know. I know. You're falling off your seat right now. You were literally going, that guy's an idiot. I know. I know. It's okay, though. It's okay. In the end, it's totally okay. Because it's, it's, it's my drawing. And does it matter how we get there? If you run a race and you have a runner that is fast and one that's slow and the whole goal is to actually win the race or finish the race does it matter how you get to the finish line what if the guy from the finish line actually wins what happens if he wins then what do you do you know what if that guy wins the race but he runs all weird so are you gonna like say well you know hey uh, we don't like the way he ran the race so um, I think that we should disqualify him because he he ran the race a little different than most. Well, of course not. He's still going to win the race. He's still going to compete and all that. So, so in the end, you know, we're just all having a good time. And that's what I mean by do you. Because what will happen is, like that, that just happened, that can mess you up. That can mess you up bad, where you're like, oh my gosh, I suck, because I can't do a circle right. Or, that sucks, I can't do this right. You know, in the end, it's you. And how you want to do it. right that's truly it all right now that wasted a lot of time we're gonna move on here okay let's get rid of this see look at that all right I'm doing this because you guys are probably going, what is he doing? Um, I just want to make sure that, that those colors are white when we um, start doing other stuff, and you'll see what I mean. And you've seen it in other, 
videos. And that's what I mean about you'll see me adapting because I will look at things and I'll be like, you know, it'll make I'll make a mistake somewhere and then I'll change it in the next drawing because I, I learned my lesson and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Let me change it up. Okay. So now let's do this. And I hope you guys like these drawings. I, I always, they're my favorite. I just always love drawing them. I always have. And then I put on all these little details. And little, it depends on what it is. Like if I'm doing robots and stuff, I'll do different types of little hash marks and stuff because I want a different feel to it. Or I'll do it in different places. It all depends. Now me, I, I tend to like a lot of detail. If you if you see um, my boneyard, you'll understand what I mean. In my boneyard stuff, I mean I got there's detail upon detail on the, on those things um, because I want you I want you to to look at it and enjoy it and look at it and it it's new. There's something new every time you see it. Um, because in the end, wouldn't you want that in a piece of art, something that you have that is constantly kind of giving to you in, in what you want? And it's like, imagine if you're like having a bad day and then, you know, you, you come up and all of a sudden notice, you know, something totally different. I think that's neat. You know, I think that's a cool thing. I mean, I would want that, you know, so I tend to do that in my pieces. Okay, now I come in, believe it or not, with white. Um, lots of times it's just to um, just little highlights. It depends on the painting, whether how many I'm going to put in there and what I'm going to do. I think it just makes some of the stuff pop a little bit. makes things stand out a little bit. Now, like I told you, I definitely, if I were you, definitely go and uh, watch this on Netflix or where you can find it. You will utterly enjoy it. It is probably one of the coolest things. Well, I wouldn't say it's like the coolest things, but it's just really good. It's just really good. And it's definitely worth watching. All right, I'm going to go with now. Right now, I'm kind of into this brush style. Um, don't ask me why. I mean, you could ask me why. I just don't have an answer for you. I just, I like it a lot. It's like watercolor. Maybe that's probably why I like it. Because it reminds me a lot of my, um, my boneyard is all watercolor. So it's like a different feel. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
I did myself. I think uh, I had a great time. Um, I think it's a great anime. Um, it is has a lot of it's cool storyline. Uh, everything's really cool with it. So you guys know what time it is, right? I know, I know, right? But let's see. It is time to sign. All right. Well, I want to thank you all for coming out and watching. Um, and I definitely uh, enjoy doing these. And I hope you enjoy watching them. And R2, come on, man. Why are you always like jumping in other people's stuff? This is Haikyuu time, not R2D2 time. I know. I know. Well, you can ask other Star Wars people all you want. It, you know, this is my, the way I do it. There there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Boba. That's right. This is, this is, this is the way. No, oh, not that way. Oh, so you want to draw it. That's what you're saying. So you and R2 are basically teaming up on me. Right. You're teaming up on me. I, I want to do my own stuff, and you're teaming up on me. Well, you know what? Hey, I'm going to draw what I want to draw when I want to draw it. So, and it's uh, haiku time. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for all the stuff. Thank you for enjoying the show. Um, definitely come back. I'll be drawing more of these. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll get into where you could respond or different things like that. Or maybe I'll do a live. I don't know. Um, you know, but um, I thank you. Um for uh watching and uh we will see you next time